Hello, hello, hello. So, we died in the mine, but we got diamonds. My microphone's muted. We found them. We found the fabled diamonds. Oh, it's more than one. It's only two, but it's more than one. Okay, that's good. That's good. That means they exist. Cheating's not enabled. What the f was that? What was that? Hello? What? My dude. <clears throat> First off, you scared the ever living crap out of me. Second off, my man. Let me, uh, Grab my gold and iron real quick. It's gonna triplicate my resources real quick. Right, well, sort of doubled them. Um, can I take you home with me? You know what? I like my plan now. Keep going straight. Don't stop. This though could get me killed. Yes, the plan, it continues to work. Hello, diamonds. If this is how many diamonds I'm finding doing this, how many have I missed? You know what I mean? Like, how many have I just not seen? And here we are, right again. Scoria. Oh boy. Hold up. Game? Are we good? We okay? I think I was loading in some chunks that I've not visited before. Which is good though. That means there's fresh chance for diamonds. And statistically at this point, I'm guaranteed to find some if I keep going in a straight line. Forever. And now we can progress some of the magic stuff again. So, give me just a moment. And I'm gonna sort out my inventory. Okay, we've sorted things out. Uh, I want to check something since I have a ton of iron and I can make even more iron, a bit more iron, right? And iron's not hard to come by. I want to check something. So let's make ourselves a full set of iron. Oh no, okay. I was like, is this better than just what I was wearing? But it's not. So I want to make myself a full set of iron. Because with that and go in here, can submit. Is that gone? It is. Okay, so we need to be careful of submitting quests. But I'll submit these anyways. That's fine with me. It doesn't look like we need to submit the emeralds? Since I don't have any in my inventory, and it says it's okay, but I will have to submit the iron. Anyways, now that we've done that test, I think, because the reason why I got worried about it is there's a quest somewhere in here that requires, like, 10 diamonds. 
as one of the materials you got to turn in. And, uh, I gotta say, I'm not really liking whatever that's going to be. There's one diamond. But, uh, see, and like some of these are just make and some of these are turn in. So like, yeah, like I don't turn that one in. I just make it. That, that one could be a good one to do since I have the materials available. I might as well just sort of go for it. Uh, cause what we need is a golden pickaxe and to waste some stuff on a golden hoe or a diamond hoe, but we don't have to turn these in. We get our contract. So that's one down. Uh, I'm going to put my contracts, um, We'll put it in with the enchanting. We'll just leave it here. Let's put this stuff back. Actually, I might need that. Let's take a look. Why are there so much of you? I haven't been here in a while, have I? Get this harvested. Sorry. The problem is I have really bad attention issues. But we're getting there. Now. In order to progress with magic, our next step was an enchanting apparatus, which requires arcane stone, I have, iron, and diamond. Ow. Purposely put that box there so I didn't have to jump down, and then I just jumped off. Okay. Wrong button. So we have this. So this block functions to require pedestals to add crafting materials. See the next quest. So we have arcane pedestals, which is just the stone, which I have not enough of. So let's get my source gems. Let's get my these actually because I can slap this there and that'll create a couple of them and I can get some stone I'll let that do its thing this is 30 percent um I'll see you in a moment actually let's make one more of those we'll do that you guys didn't see me make one of those so what do I need for the arcane core, right? Which is, no, source jar. That's what I want. Stone and glass, or archwood, archwood slabs and glass. I used all my glass. This is embarrassing. Hey. Oh. Oh my. Hello? Is that a... Is that a dragon? Yeah, we're going back inside. All right. Oh, so I get one... I don't have the patience. Did I get more shards? No, the shards are gone. Man, I am just wasting my life. So, what's nice about these tanks is that once you have them, they actually are transportable, like fluid jars and stuff like that in other mods. So, I could mine this up. And replace it with that, and it'll start filling up. It's already 10% full. Now we can bring this in here. And we could use this for whatever we need. And we got a block of this. 
which gives us four more gems. Then we could turn around, put this in the middle, get more stone. Now, arcane pedestal, close an eye. And now what do I do with it? An emerald, nice. So I can start making trinkets, that's cool. I can make fiber, which allows me to make mage armor. And I can make things like this. And so I would need a block of gold. I would need manipulation essence, a source gem block, which is easy, and a bow. What is manipulation essence? That looks to be redstone, that, and a clock? And a stone button. So I would need into an infuement chamber. Four. Okay. So we have a pedestal. We have this. So this is our enchanting apparatus. It needs an arcane core underneath it. Fair enough. Take the arcane core. Slap that down. Put that on top. Then we have our pedestals, which we can put around it. So if we want to make the bow, we need a block of gold, a source gem, First, we need the manipulation essence. So I gotta figure out how to make a clock. Golden redstone. Let's do that first. So we need three pedestals and put the source gem in the middle is what I'm going to assume. So let's grab a source gem. Nope, okay, it all goes on pedestals. So let's make some more of this. Get a bunch of this. I don't know how many pedestals we're going to need in the future. Four seems like a good start, though. So we've got one, two, three, four. No recipe found. Pedestals must be within three blocks. It... They are? Okay, let me figure this out. I'm confused. Okay, place adjacent to an enchanting apparatus, which is the arc curtain core. Up to eight can be placed surrounding the apparatus. Place materials on the pedestals first, then place the item you want to plan to enchant into the enchanting apparatus. To begin crafting recipes can be found in the JEI or okay. So I got to put things into there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Give me this back. The key now, I see, is you need the three items, right, that you're going to enchant or use for the enchanting and the item you want to put in. What, what are you... What, what are you talking about? Is it specific... Mm, it's probably a specific order. Okay, so I've been staring at this and staring at it. I'm wondering, why doesn't it work? Well, the answer is actually really quite simple. I can't read. Um, so there are technically two setups one would need. And uh, I guess for now, we can just do this since it doesn't really matter. 
Uh, but this, oh, no, you come back. There we go. This should work just fine. Then we take this bad boy and we put it in there. And that'll start pulling from this. Because when I was looking at this, right? And this is for the enchanting apparatus. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Then we're going to be using the enchanting apparatus. And I did not pay attention to the fact that this is an imbument chamber. So. Yeah. Oh. Also, apparently it doesn't necessarily consume materials. That's interesting. Huh. That's actually kind of neat. Cool. Uh, our next craft then. It's fairly straightforward. I need a gold block. I got one of those and I got this. I need a bow. I got a pretty much brand new bow or no, I probably have to have a new bow. Probably has to be a fully new bow. I need to sort of start clearing my inventory. Uh, let's open this up. Dump some of these blocks that I definitely don't need. Hold on to that. Put the cobblestone away right now. Put that away for now. We'll need this. And I need to get some string. Those are leads. There's some string. I have sticks in my hand currently. No. Come back. Now I think it's this, right? Yeah, cool. So now we can come up and we need to place that, that, this on just any pedestal nearby we slap the bow in there i think these will get consumed yeah they're starting to fade and we get get ourselves a bow so the enchanter's bow So, a bow that can inscribe with a spell using the scribe's table. If the player has enough mana, arrows will become spell arrows and will apply the spell on their target. If no arrows are in the inventory, a spell arrow that costs or that does zero damage will be cast. If there's not enough mana, then a regular arrow will be fired. So I can use standard arrows or I can use augmented arrows for bonuses. So I think then I can come up here, slap this on the table. Okay. Then maybe, oh. Uh-huh. I've not actually done this before. So this is all new. Let's see, so we can get break. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that. So certain things aren't allowed, like break isn't allowed, huh? So I can't do mining, I guess. That's been sealed. I can summon wolves. Okay, leap. Place blocks, pull. Make a fishing rod. Interesting. The spell I'll need, I need milk. 
Man, it is very quiet, Minecraft. Evaporate, freeze, craft. This could be useful. Conjure mage light. Conjure mage block, which I just can't do. Yeah, I can't select that. That's disappointing. Huh. I guess it doesn't want you not using pickaxes, but that's okay, because I can enchant pickaxes. I'm still not sure. Like, it says to use this in the enchanter's bow with the scribe's table. But I'm not sure how. We can ignore this for now. Just for a bit. I think I want to do some of that. I am sad, though. That we are unable to do break as an option since that would be extremely useful but i have these two things so we can select this and i have a lantern somewhere and i have a torch i think on me yeah so lantern and torch the way this works it's i guess i can toss it yeah Okay, and then I learn. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hold up. So now I have Conjure Mage Light, which is awesome. So, craft, sure. Let's learn this one. I think I have an. Where did you get the crafting chest from? <laughs> what? Where did it pull that from? What? Uh, okay, I have craft now. That's a thing. Uh, gives me a water breathing buff. How oh, water essence. Water essence. So this is one of the things I can use the imbuement chamber for. Oh, I spelled that wrong. There we go. So this, I need a source gem. I need kelp snow block, which means I need snow. So I need to go, I can go outside with a shovel. Uh, I need a water bucket. Where do I get kelp? Oh, I forgot I have Frostwalker. That's sort of annoying. Well. Awesome. Is that enough snowballs? You get a snow block. It is. Okay, I think we got everything we need. <clears throat> and a bucket? I have a bucket? I'm stupid? Don't mind me. Going back down. So now I think we can do the imbuement chamber again. And we're going to use a bucket of water. 
our snow block, our kelp, and almost done. Water essence. I need the water essence. I need my two fishies, which are in the food drawer down here. Oh, it's the wrong place. The wrong book. Bell book? Oh, why did I do that? All right, water breathing. Aquatic, select. We're going to toss that in. Oh, so it's just going to pull stuff out of my chest. If the chest is close. The chest is close enough. It just seems to be pulling it out of my chest. So that is useful. Uh, what else can we get? What else is nice? Let's get Amplify. I think that'll be good. So diamond pickaxe. Well, can we sacrifice a use to diamond pickaxe? Let's find out. Yes, we can. That's amazing. Okay, we added amplify. Sensitive AOE accelerate. Dampen, deaccelerate, duration down. Extend time could actually be pretty good. So we need to toss a clock and a redstone block. So that's going to cost me my clock. But I think we want this for things like water breathing. And making a clock isn't... Oop. Making a clock isn't too hard. It has already taken the clock. Because <laughs> of course forgetting it's just going to steal things from my chest even if I don't quite want it to. I don't know how to turn that off, but hey. We're doing magic here. And that, that's cool enough for me. Uh, Deaccelerate, dampen, pierce. Could be cool. I have everything I need for that. That is a tier 2 spell, though. Which I can't really use yet. But I can select it and it should just do the thing. Oh, yeah. You can see it. Bring it in. Do I have the arrows in my stuff? I had arrows. It might not be able to pull from things like the bottom chest here. That's nifty. It can pull from down there, though. What else can we get? Clock again. Fortune. I don't have a rabbit's foot. I'm very sad, right, that I can't get the mining. Okay, now that I have this, I kind of want a better spell book, too. So let's hit this and go here. Of course, two diamond. Oh, never mind. I got to go to the nether. All right. So oh. let's take a look at what we got. We can't use these two, but we can use Amplify. So we have projectile. Arm. Amplify. And we're going to call the... Oh. Sorry, we could do this. We'll call it magic missile. Okay, and then we can make another spell. What else do we have? We have projectile. 
Conjure Mage Light, Amplify. We don't need it too bright because we can hopefully spam it. And we'll call this Light. Three, let's do, oh, nope. Let's do Self Craft. Create. So that does pop up that, but that's not that bad. So then I can create some little mage lights. They are semi costly, but they're permanent from what I can tell. I can open up the crafting table, which is pretty aggressive, but. I don't really have to worry about crafting one. So cool. How much does this cost? Oof. I mean, it could be a good amount of damage though, but I need to find something I can shoot to find out. Are there any monsters just sort of hanging out? Look at you. Hi. That is a... Uh... Ow. Because I'm not in combat mode? Are you kidding me? Hey! You don't want to help with this? The Iron Golem killed me? Thanks, dude. Okay. First off, I think I need a better spell book and I need a lot more mana. So we're going to wait on doing too much with magic, but the fact that I can use light definitely not going to be my combat resource right now. Um, okay. So I don't need to worry about torches anymore. I would like to possibly Go and do some more mining, but also I really got to go try and take on that Goblin King again. I don't feel confident about my gear. Also, there are people who have quests. Okay. Hi there, stranger. Could you help me with something? I'll do it. Thank you for listening. My blast furnace is breaking down. Can you craft a new one and give it to me? Um... Maybe. So let's check out, what is a blast? How do we make a blast furnace? Iron, deep slate furnace, smooth stone. I mean, that's great and all. 
But how much does my guy know? Right? This is... Awkward. Um... This is real awkward. So, don't mind me. I'm just gonna open up my crafting menu. That's already coming in handy. Forgot to remake a new pickaxe. He's upstairs. Will he know? Haha! <laughs> he did not know. Uh, he took it away. He took the blast furnace away. Okay. And I guess I need smooth stone. Did I grab any smooth stone? Listen, dude, there's no need to make things complicated. Hey, you're gone and you're trying to make things complicated. Now I gotta come all the way up. Gotta go to my furnace. Gotta get some stone. Does it have to be smooth stone? Let's find out. Okay. Deep slate. Stone. Iron. How do I get smooth stone? So let's do this. Of course. Free cooked stone. Good. Where'd my iron go? There it is. There. I've done what you've asked. Do I need an open hand? Okay. I now have a trade scroll with the armor trading guild. This is wonderful. All right. So now I got to find a lectern and use it on the lectern, which will allow me to sign said contract. I have to raid this place a little bit better, like just take some of the tools. I could also just use it as a home. Now that I think it's gone to the point where these guys aren't going to spawn anymore. I definitely need some cleaning up. Did I take all the lecterns home? Yeah, I took all the lecterns home. Hi, hold on. Did you have another quest? Guess not. Up we go. I really kind of need a better home, but this is very central. I just need to clean this up and actually just make it a little bit better. Let's grab a lectern. We'll slap the lectern down. Is shift right click on a oh uh, 
I have to have it in my hand. There we go. I signed that contract. And then I can also sign that contract. Now, he's my friend. Since I have a contract in my inventory, I can talk to him. And for a lot of emeralds, I can get iron boots or an iron chest plate. How? That's painful. That is uh, not as good as I hoped it would be. All right. Well, these I can stuff in here. I think you have to have a contract with you in order to trade. Uh, next step is making a proper pickaxe. Oops. Oh well. Not like that makes a difference. So I can make crafting books, right? So we've done this. Oh. So this gave me a uh, weird missing item block. <laughs> um, but I can make crafting items. I can also make trinkets. Get me Curse of Insomnia. Phantoms appear faster. Great. I really want that. Different types of gear. I can make a shield. Make different source links. I can get the, once I find a cow, I can make some more buckets. And I can get a hold of milk. Do that. I don't know how to get a blank glyph. So I don't know if that'll ever get done. But that's fine. And we can make some uh, enchanted books. That's the wrong button again. That's the enchanting table. Yeah. Somewhere is the other enchanting. Or is that not possible? Ars Nova. Okay. I should search Ars Nova. So I can make these type of enchanting books. We can get mana regen on something. Mana boost. Reactive. Then we have things like protection for tough. Huh. Does this remove the ability to do enchanting? Hmm. Let's look up the enchanting table. This thing. We'll right click it. And are there books in here? They are not. Right click in the lectern, have no passive abilities, they only exist to the bound players. A familiar of the ritual binding which binds them to nearby summoned mobs. The player has a familiar companion. To begin summoning familiars, you'll need to obtain so 
A bookworm will reduce the cost of all spells cast. It increases any spell damage by one obtained by performing a ritual of binding near a bookworm. Hmm. And I could pick different ones. All right. So this is a bit more complicated and less useful than what I thought it could do. But you know what? We'll make do. In the meantime, I think I'm going to see you again later after I do a bit of mining. Because I need to make things like armor and diamond would be pretty good. I also need to go fight some things. So maybe after I get enough armor, we can go deal with that. Uh, but in the meantime, I think we're good for now.